Paul Turner. Hi everyone, good to see you all here, protesting despite the cowardice of Downing Street in even engaging in the argument. When Trump withdrew from the joint comprehensive plan of action last May, the whole of Europe, with the exception of the United, uh, with the exception of the United Kingdom, was not in favour of that. Britain was craven in supporting what Trump did, and there's very definitely a danger that if the warmongers amongst his advisers can get him to shift on the military field, then Britain will be right there behind him. So it's really important that all of us are here today. The Iran nuclear agreement is widely regarded as one of the most successful arms limitation agreements in existence. Before Trump withdrew, everybody, and that includes the United States State Department and the Pentagon, accepted that the agreement was working and that Iran was complying with the terms. There is no reason whatsoever, no military reason to withdraw. I hope that given we're coming up to an election year in the United States, Trump will have second thoughts about launching a military attack. But if he does so, he's not launching an attack on Libya or a weakened Iraq. He's launching an attack on a country which has a military machinery sufficient to respond. And if that happens, the whole of that region will be drawn again into a bloody war. And that's something that we don't have the stomach for. And I think we will find that the people of Britain have no more stomach for it either. So make sure that you support our future actions. Make sure that you lobby your MPs and tell Boris Johnson and everyone else vying to be the leadership of the Conservative Party that we won't stand for them going to war. Thank you very much for being here on behalf of the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament.